Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Aditya 11 Triple T. Today we have a case of a you know, Dell laptop whose problem is alert TPM device not detected. So we have a problem over here on this particular laptop. First I am going to the setup over here and what we are going to do is we are going to see what is the information over here. So we are going to see the information over here. You can see this is a BIOS firmware version 1.24.0 and uh, this is a i7 uh, sorry i5 7 generation laptop over here with us. So what we are going to do is first thing we are going to change the BIOS version over here and we are going to see whether the case is being solved or not. I don't know whether it will be solved or not but start the first thing what we are going to do is we will be downgrading the BIOS version and seeing whether the case is solved or not. So let's first get into the system and check that. Now we have already 1.240 version already installed in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to downgrade the BIOS and download the downgraded version over here and try. I don't know whether the case will be solved or not but we are going to try it. I'm going to download it. It's getting download. Let's see what happens next. So here's the detail. So we are going to do OK. Now it's trying to update. will restart many a times when you see to the website it will show you that it cannot be downgraded from a particular version if it is already upgraded to that version so according to that you can see the details and you can just do upgrade and downgrade as per your need and requirement now let's see whether it updates or not or if the error goes or not I don't know but we are still trying so it's updating the firmware Now there are many other ways of removing this error. This is the simplest way to remove this error. If it goes by a, a simple bias downgrade, that will be the most simplest way that is available. Apart from that, you have to do the some modification in the bias or you have to do some editing of the hex and FITC you have to use for uh, doing this kind of job. And uh, then the error will be removed from that. But let's see what happens over here whether the problem is being solved or not now it is doing the ME firmware update over here along with the main bias the ME is also being updated because it's there inside the package of the EXE So it has been almost completed. Now it's saying ME firmware downgrade was not allowed. And let's see what happens now. But bias has been done. ME update is failed. Now it's doing some other checkup. EC is updating. Why 
while the time you pro do this process your system should be connected with the battery and adapter without that it will not work but if you can do the modification it will work then also so it depends so it has not been solved yet so we are downgrading to one more step down and let's see what happens over here the so let's see what happens the third part which we are trying over here and this is the third bias which is been taking place for updation here we are updating ec firmware right now like last process which we have seen where the bias was updated the same process and this is our third attempt we don't know whether this case will be solved from this or not but we are just trying so this is one of the way of solving the tpm alert device error if it is not solved in this way then we have to go for bias modification or editing and then also if it is not solved then it can be some other issue related to the board or TPM IC needs to be replaced and so on so this is the easiest method which we are trying right now and you can see it has been 73 percent around which is been completed and updation ECs of firmware is going on right now so let's wait and see after this what happens so it's about to complete now it's almost completed it's hundred percent now the system is being restarted and let's see what happens here you can see Dell logo as usual and here you can see Dell TPM alert device is not sh being shown over here there is no error that means the error has gone over here now we will turn the system and check whether it is working properly or not <coughs> let's press F1 and uh, you can see the system is booting as usual in a proper manner without a problem so system is on so let's try to restart and check once again whether the error comes up again or not so this is a simple way we have downgraded the bias from which the problem has been solved so the system is getting restarted now and you can see there is no error and uh, it's working fine without an error so you can see the system is being restarted over here and it is working perfectly fine without any error so we are going to open the chrome browser over here and will be going to the website and to the product page we can go via service tag and uh, from the dell website uh, dell back body you can use the service tag and go to the dell website and there type the service tag and you can go over there after opening the product page you can go to the find driver option that is driver and download then go to find driver over there then click over there then you have to select below the bias option from the bias option you can scroll down and just tap the arrow and check for the older version you can scroll below and check whether there is a recommended option over there from there you have to check whether it allows you to up downgrade the version from the current one which is available if it allows you you can do it from the windows else you have to do the manual bias flashing method so this is the easiest way to solve the tpm error by downgrading or upgrading the bias via windows so thanks for watching Aditya Double One Triple T YouTube channel. Do hit the subscribe button, like, share, and comment. Thanks a lot. So if you want 
to get the knowledge on bias modding you can just purchase our hindi edition all the videos are available already and uh, along with that there are many case studies as well as some videos theoretically on impedance and voltages are also there with the help of dso how you can check the motherboard are also included on this videos so complete package is of around uh, 40 plus videos you can if you like you can just purchase them it is a full of knowledge you can enjoy the videos and it is a 100% money back videos your money will not be wasted for that so if you like to join our bias and schematics group you can also contact us for joining that as well as we also have a training program of laptop chip level advanced level if you like to join that you can also come and join that so thanks for watching aditya double one triple t youtube channel if you like our channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot